This next movie I would like to recommend is Dr. Ehrlich's Magic Bullet. It was made in 1940, and stars Edward G. Robinson, Ruth Gordon, Otto Kruger, and Donald Crisp. How do you do that? This movie is particularly relevant due to the current pandemic. You might join Bering in his diphtheria experiments. Oh, the number of new cases is alarming. It is a biopic which tells the true story of Dr. Paul Ehrlich and his search for the cures for diphtheria and syphilis. I beg your pardon. Herr Doctor, did you say... Uh... Yes, Rashbaya. He said syphilis. What you have is a contagious disease. An infection just like any other. In truth it is the fact that it treats its subject matter frankly, during a time when such diseases were just whispered about, that makes this film so special. I told him that others had got well. But he looked into me and saw the lie. He read the lie in me. It begins with a young Dr. Ehrlich discovering a method of staining microbes so that they may be seen more clearly in a microscope. This is a great contribution to science. It's marvelous. This graph. Later, he and his partner, Dr. Emil von Bering, discover a serum to fight diphtheria and proceed to treat children with it against the wishes of the hospital. And I determine what procedure is to be followed in saving lives. I feel it is my duty as a doctor to do everything in my power to save the lives of these children. And nothing on earth can prevent me from carrying out my duty. You will please leave this hospital at once. If you call the police before I finish my injections, I'm going to tell the parents outside that you're preventing me from treating these children. But the main story of the film is his incessant search for a cure for syphilis, true. a disease that had plagued mankind for thousands of years. So small and yet so deadly. And that motion is a dance of death. Amongst the many reasons I recommend this movie, is the performance of Edward G. Robinson. We have a group of dyes which offers an infinite number of chemical combinations. It may be possible that one of these may have an affinity for the tubercle bacillus. He himself considered this his favorite performance of his long career. Cube number 11 is regular bromide. Yes, that The script, by Norman Bernstein, Heinz Harold, and John Huston is phenomenal, and was nominated for an Oscar. We were also surprised at the presence of an oriental in the laboratory. Oriental? Hatta! An oriental? Yes, yeah, so he is. We do not approve of this employment when a man of pure German blood could fill the place. What has race to do with science? Dr. Morgan wrote injects micro. It is able to tread that area between never talking down to the audience, yet being able to explain clearly the medical terminology and methods. Complicated, isn't it? If you find this review helpful, do yourself a favor and look for a copy of this great movie. In days to come, there will be epidemics of greed, hate, ignorance. We must fight them in life as we fought syphilis in the laboratory. If you like what I am doing, highlighting old films, please press like and subscribe.